hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today's video we're going to be going through all of my school things last week you would have saw I traveled back from my school my old school now brought all of my materials and staff piled them into the kitchen and that's where they are right now it's the same day obviously I did not live with the items in my kitchen for a week um, that would be just a little too hard with Cooper and with everyday life but I stepped outside for a quick second just to say hello and welcome and if you're new I'd love it if you would subscribe and join my family here but we're gonna hop into the kitchen and I'm gonna show you everything that I'm gonna show you how it's looking and now the lighting is turned hold on there I'm gonna show you what it's looking like in our kitchen right now and we're going to start going through the bins one by one so this is it. We're going to start bringing these bins to the dining room table. Start going through these. We'll do the small bins first, and then we'll go through those bins up there. Okay, so I brought a few bins. They're on the table like that I think my plan of action so I kept a lot of my materials that were geared towards like kindergarten one two I don't plan on ever teaching higher than second grade I mean that could change in the future but for now for the next foreseeable future I'm just strictly lower elementary the primary grade so I'm going to only bring the things for kindergarten um, right now and the rest of it I'm going to store down in my basement. So I'm going to go through and see what books I want to bring and what materials I'm going to save and just bring downstairs and go from there. Okay, so this is where I am right now. I have a few bins, so the ones behind me are going to stay here. They're just, it's materials that I don't need right now in the classroom. And this is all the things so far. I think I'm gonna keep these at home. These are grade one center materials that I already printed. They're all ready to go. Um, I might be able to use some of these at the end of the year, but for now I won't need them. So, I'm, oh, I actually see some some non-center stuff. I'm going to go through them though, but I think I'm going to keep these two at home and I have to go through these. I already went through all this stuff and this is stuff that I am taking. They're books that I will use um, and these things I'm going to take. So I'm going to go through both of these bins right now. Okay, 
So I think I'm gonna call it a wrap for today. I went through a lot of the materials, but I just simply do not have the time to organize them the way I want to. My plan is to, so these are all books, mentor texts, read aloud, and library books. So I wanna go through and organize them to see exactly what I have. And so I try to keep like the library books in a certain bin and then what the mentor texts are for, the theater writing offices. Then I have um, supplies here. I don't need this many. I can go through those and see what I can bring. I uh, place a few play center materials so they'll stay, but then they're mixed in with office things. So I want to go through all of these and organize them a little bit better. Then I have this bin that has some books in it, but it has some other things. So I just kind of put them like that. And then I have this one, which is like classroom decor. And then out oh, in the kitchen, I still have my teacher toolbox and my rolling cart. These two bins are book bins and extra supply bins. This is going down the basement. This is going down the basement. I have a mess on the counter, but I have my uh, task card boxes, so I'm going to be organizing them before I go back. And then over here, these are my rainbow drawer cart, my 10 drawer cart um, drawers, a book bin, two other type of bins, and that is it. So Maddie and I have to go. I'll pick this video up tomorrow and we will organize the books together and put them into categories. I also have my curriculum outline for what I need to teach for grade, well, it's primary here, so I'll probably refer to it back and forth, kindergarten, primary. It's ex the exact same thing, it's just called something different. Um, but I'm gonna organize all these things and then we're gonna have them ready and I'm gonna contact my principal and hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, get out to the school next week. Okay, welcome to day two of organizing my materials for back to school for this year. Um, yesterday I ran out to the school that was in last week's vlog. I'll link it up above. And we uh, packed everything up and I donated a few things that I knew I wouldn't be using again. Specifically, mainly books, but I have a bunch of materials and I want to reorganize them this year and really go through what picture books I have, what I want to use for read alouds, what I want to use for read alouds and crafts from Primary Scouts. I have one or two of her bundles and um, I'm not going to do a bunch at the beginning of the year, but I am going to do one or two in September. One, in two, one or two in October and kind of spread it out throughout the months. Um, the craft retelling projects, that's kind of on the back of my mind. And then I also want to have just read aloud separate from my books um, for each month. And then I'll put, the, I'll have a running list, I think. You're going through my pro thought process with me right now. I am literally just coming up with this idea. I'm thinking I don't want to hold back any of my books from my students. So my read alouds I'm going to have put aside. I'll read them aloud, but then I'll put them into the class library. There are a few like elephant and piggy books that I want to read on the first day or two of school, but I don't want to keep those from the class, from the students. So I'm going to... Um, have them separate, use them first, and then put them in the bin. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, once I figure out a system, I will for sure let you know. But right now I am going to flip this way and you can see all my bins of books right there. I could have go through those. Um, and actually, no, skip that. I'm going to flip you around this way. And, oh, well, that's just my bins of bins more things for school yeah that's what my dining room becomes it becomes the dumping ground for all my materials until I transfer from one place to another what I'm going to do right now is use my macbook and go through and figure out what books I want to use for read alouds I'm going to make a list for each month and then I'm going to go over here 
and I'm gonna check all my books to see what ones I have and what ones I need to order, and then we'll go from there. So come along with me today as I organize my kindergarten materials for this upcoming school year before I go into the classroom so they're already done, right? They're here, I have the time, why not do it now? And check that off my list. Okay, time has passed, it's already lunchtime, and I am still making the list of the read alouds that I wanna do and which ones I wanna do crafts with. I have a million for September. There seems to be a lot of books that I wanna read at the beginning of the school year and I can't focus it down to a smaller amount. So I'm gonna share that list with you right now. Look, this is my fancy paper. September, we don't need our classmates, we are family. Well, I think it's we are all family. All are welcome, be kind, Pete the cat, rocking in my school shoes. Chrysanthemum, chicka chicka boom boom, the name jar, a letter from your teacher, brown bear, brown bear, the recess queen, Lily's purple plastic purse, and the koala who could. So I'm sure some of those I could bring over to October or even push towards like February or March, but I'm gonna see which ones for September I have already. October, I have a few. Um, Halloweener, I already have. I bought a bundle, for the October bundle off Primary Scout, so I'm gonna use that and do the craft with it. And it also came with, came with Little Boo and Creepy Pear underwear, so. It all, and it came with Golden Acorn, but I think for that Golden Acorn, I'm going Thing for golden acorn, I'm just going to do that in November instead of October. So I'm going to focus on September right now and go through and see what books I have. go through the bins with you and then we can kind of talk through and see what month I would think each book would go into and we'll do it that way. So this is Ballpark. Um, I don't know if this will be a read aloud but, but I think I'll want to put this on display for in my library um, probably like May, May, June when baseball starts. So How to Catch a Mermaid is definitely a read aloud and I'm going to gather all of my how to catch books. I have a few of them. So I'm just going to put those into a pile and then I can divvy them around. Ready, set, sail. This is a summary book. So this is going to go in the same pile as the baseball one. Very stuffed turkey. This is October. I'm in Canada. Our Thanksgiving is in October. So any turkey or Thanksgiving related books are going to be in my October bin. The Great Turkey Race, The Silly Turkey Party, Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving, The Amazing Turkey Rescue. These two books are Remembrance Day related, so they would go for November. Gingerbread Man is December, How to Catch Santa, December, Halloween, October. We have an Easter one here. Okay, so I'm going to continue on with going through the books. Lily's Purple Plastic Purse is definitely a September read aloud, so I'm gonna put that in the September pile. And then I think I'm just gonna speed up the footage a little bit. I have so many bins to go through. I have the piles started on my dining room table right here. So we start up there with September, October, November, December, January, February, March. April will be behind the MacBook, and then May, June will be here. This is actually a pile of like collections of books. Um, I don't know exactly where they're going to go as far as the monthly. They might not even fall in the monthly. I might do a bin that's specific to certain like 
traits, um, certain reading skills that I want to teach. So I'm going to keep on going, keep on trucking so I can get outside and enjoy the beautiful day that we're having today. Okay, so I got a little bit, it's been a while. It is now nearly four o'clock and I'm gonna call it a day and go out and enjoy the pool for a little bit. But um, my thought process for this organization is to make it easier to find those mentor texts that I wanna to use to teach specific like reading strategies and um, just really incorporate them into my like daily read alouds instead of just reading to, for the sake of reading, being able to like hone in on those specific skills such as character traits and text-to-text -text connections and making predictions and all those I want to really bring into the books. And like I mentioned, I have the a few of the primary scouts um, uh, read aloud packets from TPT and they have some crafts that go along with them. and. That is one th goal I want this year, is to be better at incorporating crafts into my daily routine. Well, maybe not daily, but at least weekly because I was not the best at doing crafts with the kids. So if they can be purposeful and meaningful, then all the better. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, show you what I did so far. So here's my bins, one for each month. We have in the back September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. And um, I mean, some of them only have very few books. So like I need to find some more read alouds for May and June, I, well for June specifically. I know I wanna have a beach day. Um, that will be in June. Actually my camping day will probably be in June too. So the scaredy squirrel goes camping. I'll put in my June, um, but these are just some fun ones to read for May, June. Um, need to get a cover for this one. Then like it's January is definitely easier. September is already filled. So in September I have, which I could probably do another box. I have to turn some light on. Um, so I have this free sample from Deanna Jump, I believe. I'll link who I got this from down below. Let me see. Yes, Deanna Jump and Dee Dee Wills. Um, they, I think, did this together. This was a sample for Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. It is a whole week plan. I probably won't do the entire week with my Kinders, but we would definitely do like the read aloud and the, the visualizing and talking about characters and the retelling, um, making opinions, but we might not do all the actual like sheets. We might do some of them, but at the beginning of the year, just to introduce it. And by the time we do a few of them, they'll be pros. These are for my first week of school. So Elephant and Piggy, Can I Play too? I wanna read that. And Are You Ready to Play Outside? Talking about like what to do on the playground. There's Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. Um, this one here, A Family is a Family is a Family. So, I mean, we have a bunch of different ones. This is another first day of kindergarten book that I'm going to read. Um, How full is your bucket? My class is a family. And I think there's another, oh, and the smart cookie. So these are ones I'm going to be reading on like the first week, the first two weeks. Um, 
So I should almost have a bin for the first week of school. I'm gonna write that down right now because I <laughs> sometimes the ideas come to me as I am talking to you guys. But I think I'm gonna create a bin for the first week of school read alouds. That way I know where to go when I'm looking for the books that I am gonna be reading during the first week and it'll make it easier. And then I can still have a, a separate September bin for um, just September read alouds. My organization is just literally writing everything down in a notebook that I have, books that I want, and um, now that I went through all these, I can tell you that I still have a few that I need to buy. Um, September is pretty good. I have a few for November, actually all my November books, so I really should order those. Two for December. Um, and they're really important ones because I don't have any Hanukkah books and in November I don't have any I think it's I can't pronounce it Diwali I don't have any of those books and I really want to make sure that I'm incorporating that um, and I don't have surprisingly I don't have any Chinese New Year and so that's another one that I want to get more of um, I really pride myself on having a diverse library but the school I was at the last two years had a pretty big selection so I had didn't have to really buy any they already had them I have a few indigenous books I have a bunch of black history um, but I don't have any like I said Hanukkah or Diwali or Chinese New Year and I really want to celebrate those as well especially that I'm going to a class um, and a school that is very large and the uh, student population is going to be very diverse. So um, yeah, I have to go down the basement as well. That's gonna be uh, later on today and go through other books that I have because I know I have a bunch of Clifford. I didn't have to bring certain collections to school. I'm keeping a bunch of books at home because I won't need them for kinder, but there's other collections I'd like to bring to school. I also had a few ideas about um, class reward system. So I'm going to sit down and we're going to chat for a second before I close up this vlog. I have three minutes left on my memory card. So this will be the last three minutes is talking about classroom management. So like I've mentioned earlier in other previous vlogs that I already ordered the Smart Cookie um, jar, I'll link it right here, uh, by Textures by Maria, and I can't wait for that to, to come in and I'll be able to use that. And I think it's gonna be a compliment system when they are complimented in the hallway by another teacher. And then also if they are together as a whole group in class, following the rules and procedures of our classroom, they'll get a cookie. And once the jar is filled, they will get a reward at the end. And it could be something like a class movie or a class um, wear pajamas. So for that, possibly a bringing in, Maylene mentioned uh, just bringing in cookies. So that could be something simple for a whole class reward. But I'm thinking for individual rewards doing the bucket system. Now, Lauren from uh, putting them first bought actual buckets and she'll put pom-poms in them and I love it. And one thing I was thinking that it could be individual rewards like read with a book buddy. So I have all those cold care book buddies and I thought that would be a great reward that during reading time they get to read with a book buddy. So I could have coupons where when they fill their bucket, when they get a certain amount after they count them at the end of each week um, or at the end of each two weeks, whatever I decide to do, that they can trade it in for a coupon. And that coupon can be things like, I do have a treasure chest so they could pick something from that. They could read with a book buddy. They could have lunch with me. There could be lots of fun things. So let me know down in the comments if you think that's too many um, behavior management, like a whole group and individual, or if I should just stick with the whole group or with the individual. Let me know what you think down in the comments. So I'm gonna stop rambling right now and I'll see you later. I actually think I'm gonna close out this vlog right now because I only have 47 seconds 
left on my memory card. So thanks for being here. Thanks for following me along as I organize some of my, of my library books and my teacher read alouds. And we'll see you next week, which will probably be more classroom prep, or maybe I'll actually be out at my school and we'll start classroom setup. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye now.